Hey guys, welcome back. This will be a continuation of my InMove robot project. I believe this is part five. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, you'll see some things have changed here. I've got a little bit of work done on the InMove hand arm project. The servos aren't mounted, uh, well, they're not mounted at all. They're just sitting in there. But uh, test bit of that worked out good, and I got some ligaments run. I'm going to move the camera, and I'll show you what I did on the fingers. So you see here, I've got uh, I've got the fishing line run through the hundred pound test spectra line, and uh, what I used for my pivot points is actually uh, <laughs> right out of the garden shed. Good old weed eater twine. Uh, I didn't have uh, any 3 millimeter filament like others have used for this, but uh, I can attest this, uh, this weed eater twine is, is working great. Uh, I just had to clear the holes with a, a 3 32nd bit for, uh, for the size of this. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we all know how tough this stuff can be. It's darn near bulletproof, but it's still got a little bit of flex to it. So what I did, I put them through and then I took my hot air rework gun, which turned on as soon as I took it off the cradle. That's uh, for hot air rework uh, soldering station. And just warmed up the, the nub and uh, gave it a tap with my side cutters to peen it over. And uh, I'm super happy with this. Um, really, really happy. Very little lateral play uh, in the joints themselves. The print came out good. Um, that's it for lateral play, so that's pretty reasonable. And uh, everything is free as the breeze. Really, really tickled about this. So uh, I'd say it's just right, just the amount of uh, looseness, but uh, <laughs> not too much, not too sloppy. So yeah, that's about it. Everything uh, put together with the, uh, the ABS bolts. So far, so good. I guess we'll find out when we start putting some high torque on it and uh, reprinted some parts for the, the case. I wasn't happy with the way this cover fit uh, up here. So I uh, reprinted that. You can tell by the difference in the color of the filament. Pretty, pretty excited about the uh, finish on that. I just have to sand the bottom here where it was on the print bed. Anyway, uh, I'll see if I can, uh, I'll reset the camera and see if we can make this thing move. So we'll see if we can get an idea on how the servos are going to work. This is just with uh, the line wrapped around my hand. You can see they're really, really sensitive to fingertips, and that's full deflection. Looks pretty good. Free as a breeze. Really happy about that. No binding, no sticking. Smooth as really I could ever hope for. Uh, so, yeah, that's. Uh, that's pretty much what it'll look like once it's hooked to the servo, so I'll get those mounted. Uh, yeah, well, uh, hopefully the next video will be uh, maybe powered on its own. I have a question for anyone out there who may be building one of these. These are the, uh, the servo horns I printed. If anybody has any tips on how to make these horns fit on the actual servo shaft, uh, well, I'm all ears. I'd, I'd take any advice. I, uh, what I did is I warmed it up a little bit with a hot air rework gun because these things, the printer doesn't have the resolution to put the spline on it. And I uh, warmed it up a touch, pushed it on. I end up, uh, it doesn't work out very well. It ends up taking one of the edges down with it and then uh, causing a, a point on the, on the bottoming out surface so it doesn't go all that, down all the way. So maybe I just have to carve out a little material and make it a little bit more snug. But if anybody has any points, I'm, I'd be uh, I'd take any advice you've got. Anyway, that's uh, In Move Hand Part 5.